later this evening on this channel we'll bring you a story of greatness we'll tell you the phenomenal sustained and impactful life of the national chief imam of ghana sheikh osmanu sharabutu ahead of the screening of the film put together by my colleague latif idris we'll bring you a precursor Sheikh Osman Nuhu Sharabutu. His greatest triumph lies in his legacy as a peace building champion, a leader, a philanthropist, a humanitarian, and a teacher. That legacy stretches beyond the boundaries of Ghana to neighboring countries like Nigeria, Senegal, and Morocco, where he has publicly taken his teachings of the religion of Islam and the campaign for religious tolerance too. I haven't seen him use a, a, a earpiece to enable him here. I see he's got all his teeth. I see him not using glasses like I'm using glasses now. He would stand up and in his own soft, quiet way be moving. But how did this beautiful, sustained and progressively impactful journey all begin? He was born in Cowley where the father and mother lived in Cowley, just about uh, 200 meters or 150 meters from where I stand. But behind me here is where the national chief imam was raised from cradle. This is where he lived with the mother. So I lead you to the house and I point you to the room that they lived in before he left here. Over there is where the room that his eminence the national chief imam was raised that's the room he lived with his mother till the age of about eight when he started schooling and he was taken to old fadama islam is one of the major religions practiced widely in ghana its presence in ghana dates back to the 10th century the mainstream sunni community made up of the tijaniya and al sunnah make up approximately 80% of the Muslim population as against the Ahmadiyya and Shia community constituting about 20% of the population. These different sects live together and worship peacefully under the leadership of the Grand Mufti. Prior to, most of them even thought that Ahmadiyya was against Islam and some of them believed that Ahmadiyya has been planted by Israel with the backing of the United States of America to infiltrate the ranks of Muslims and undo Islam for and on behalf of the Zionists. Prior to him, like I said, al Sunnah man had nothing doing with a Shiite. A Shiite had nothing doing with uh, a Tijani. Tijani, on the other hand, had nothing doing with al Sunnah and a Shiite. And the, the three of them combined had nothing doing with an Ahmadi Muslim. The Ahmadi Muslim was ostracized kind of on one side. The others were the lesser evil. And to them, the Ahmadis were the major evil. But what do we do and what do we see since the national chief imam came on board as the national chief imam? He has been the type who reaches out. He's been the type who is all embracing. He's been the type who is fatherly. And he's been the type who has become an umbrella. <laughs> <laughs> 